Okay, here we have a lottery problem. It costs one pound to enter. It's made up of a draw of five balls from 30 number balls. If a person matches three balls, they win five pounds. Match four numbers, they win a hundred pounds. Five numbers, they win ten thousand pounds. How much would, it, would you expect a person to win if they play the game ten thousand times? We're going to break this down into several parts and work out the probability of each section and then hopefully come up with an answer. So let's look at matching up five numbers. So if we had our five numbers, the first, the second, the third, the fourth and the fifth numbers. Now, we have 30 ways of choosing. The first number can be picked from 30 numbers. Once that one's chosen, there are only 29 numbers to pick the second number and only three numbers, um, 28 numbers to then pick the third number from, 27 numbers to pick the fourth number from, and then 26 numbers left to pick the, th the fifth number from. So this gives us the total different number of arrangements it is possible to get with 30 numbered balls if you're going to just choose five of them. And that comes out at 17,100,720. But this is arrangements, and we're not interested in arrangements, we're interested in combinations. So there, if once a number's been picked, how many ways can it be arranged? So you think your first, um, the first digit, the first number's picked out, that could be picked from any one of the five digits you, or numbers you've picked out. And then from once you pick the number, the second one can be chosen from four, third one chosen from three, fourth one chosen from two, and the fifth one chosen from just one option. So therefore, and this equals 120. So this is once you've got f five numbers, this is the number of ways they can be ordered. So therefore, therefore this 17,120,000 needs to be divided by 120. For every five numbers, there are 120 ways of writing them out in a different order, but we're not interested in different order. We're interested in drawing the numbers out and what numbers we've got in this case. And so therefore, if we work that out, so we do 17,120,000 divided by 120, this will equal 14,000, sorry, 142,000, Let's just rub that out so it's nice and neat. This will equal 142,506. So the probability of drawing five numbers will be, we're only going to have one way of getting our five numbers. One out of 142,506. Let's see how many ways we can choose the four numbers and get a winning set of four numbers from our five numbers. So let's just imagine we've got our five numbers again. So let's just use this little, these dots to illustrate our winning numbers and this dot to illustrate any, any number that comes up which is not one of our winning numbers. We can select our winning numbers from the five numbers that we've got. So the first number can be chosen from 5, then 4, then 3, sorry, 3, then 2 numbers. Now the only thing is we haven't taken into account the order. So therefore of these four numbers the first number um, could be chosen in four ways and the second number could be chosen in three ways and the third number could be chosen in two ways, and the last number could be chosen in one way. So the total number of ways, we can choose our numbers so the order doesn't matter, is 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 over 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. And we can quickly see, sorry, let's just choose a different colour. Uh, let's use this one, black. There we go. The 4 will cancel out with 4, 3 will cancel out with 3, the 2 will cancel out with 2, just to leave us equal to 5. But this red number here, this red number can be chosen from the 25 losing numbers. There's 30 numbers, 5 of our winning numbers, and there's 25 losing numbers. So we times by 25 because we'll get 5 options where our numbers come up. And then there are going to be 25 um, numbers which we don't want. Okay, that will come up but still give us a winning number, a winning answer with our four winning numbers because this one must be one of the losing numbers um, to combine with the four. So that will give us 125 ways of producing 
um, a winning number. Now if remember that this has taken out of all the possible number draws it could be, so it's 30 times 29 times 28 times 27 times 26, all over the ways that these five winning numbers could be ordered, so 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. And the answer to this was 142,506. So therefore the probability of us getting four winning numbers out of five will be 125 divided by 442,506. And that's our answer to four numbers. Let's go on to three numbers. So let's just do the same sort of thing. One, two, three, four, five. Now let's just imagine we've got three winning numbers and then you combine that with two numbers that you don't want. Now of the numbers that we do want, remember we've bought five numbers, so therefore the first number that comes out we can pick from five we can pick the second number from four and pick the third number from three. But of those three numbers, remember they can be rearranged in three times two times one ways. So therefore to get the number of combinations we need to divide by three times two times one. And actually if we do a bit of cancelling, three cancels out with three and the two cancels out with four to give two. So it gives us ten for that bit. Now let's go to our non-winning numbers. Well there are 25 possible numbers that can be picked for that one. And then once 25 numbers have been picked, there is 24 numbers can be picked for that one. But these can be arranged in two times one ways. Yes, you can have two numbers could be picked. At, once you've got the, those numbers, there's two choices of the first one, and then once you've chosen it, there's one. So the, the number of arrangements of two numbers, or the two num numbers, is two. So we need to divide this by the number of ways they can be ordered. So that will give us 25 times 12 which equals 300. So therefore we have 10 times 300 ways in which we can get three winning numbers out of the five which gives us 3,000 winning options. So that gives us a probability of 3000 divided by 142,500 which cancels down to give us 500 over 23,751 right now let's see if we can solve the problem and work out what we expect to win. Now let's work out the problem and see um, what we can expect to win. So we found the probability before of matching five numbers of 142,506 and this when we match this we get a winning of 10,000 pounds. So if we just imagine we just played the game once our expected winnings will be the probability times by the amount we win. And if we match four numbers, we worked out there was a probability of 125 over 142,506, and we were only going to win £100, so that will be our expectation for that. And if we match five numbers, we're going to do that 500 out of 23,751 times and we'd win five pounds when that happened. So if we work this out, this gives us an expectation per game of from with the five numbers, we'd only get 0 0.070172 and so on pounds. And from the four numbers, we get an expectation of 0 0.087715 pounds. And from matching three numbers, and this comes out a little bit better, 0 
five, uh, two, five, eight, and so on pounds. Now, if we add that up, that gives us an expectation per game of winning 0 0.2631 four six pounds now if we play 10,000 games we obviously expect a winnings to be 10,000 times that so move the decimal point well we're going to be one two three four so we move it one two three four so I think I made a mistake there. One, two, three, four. Can't count. So we'd get a winnings of two thousand six hundred thirty-one pounds and forty-six pence. Only the problem is, when you've played the game ten thousand times, you would have spent ten thousand pounds. So you would have lost over seven thousand pounds on average over that time.